So I've made videos on why you might not like living in Greensboro or why you shouldn't move here. I've made some pros and cons videos as well. I'm gonna link all those below in the Greensboro playlist. But in this video, I wanna talk about why people love living in Greensboro, North Carolina. We also have a website and Instagram called Living in Greensboro. And on that, we'll go over some quirky facts and cool things about the city. Also some cons about living in here. But on Living in Greensboro, the website, we have a new article, 11 unique things about living in Greensboro. So check that out if you're looking for more information. I'm Jeff Valentino. I love helping people buy and sell real estate. If that's you, my contact information is below. The first thing that people love about living in Greensboro is the huge variety of things to do. For a city of its size, there are just a ton of things to do do almost whatever you're into they have something for just about everybody if you like the outdoors you like golf there are 11 courses within the city limits and 36 golf courses within a 20 mile radius here and actually some of those are championship level golf courses actually greensboro dominated the top five most difficult golf courses in the triad if you like parks and playgrounds again in the outdoors there's over 70 parks and playgrounds some notable ones are labaro park downtown the Greensboro Arboretum, Lake Brant Marina, actually about a dozen come to mind instantly. I'm not gonna rattle them off here, but there are tons and tons of outdoor activities, parks, and playgrounds. If you're into hiking and biking, there are over 140 miles of trails and greenways throughout the city and just outside the city. The city itself has just a ton of green space. There are so many things to do if you love the outdoors. Now, if you're into the indoors, they got you covered there as well. You have the Greensboro Aquatic Center, the Science Center, Shopping at Friendly Center. There are a lot of centers. <laughs> Trampoline parks, museums. There are just a ton of things to do, whether you're looking for stuff outdoors or indoors in Greensboro. That's one of the things that people love about this city. Next thing people love about living in Greensboro is the culture. Greensboro has an A-plus rating in diversity on niche.com. In my opinion, it's also the most metropolitan feeling city in the entire triad when you compare Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and High Point. Greensboro, even you know, just at about 300,000, it just feels the most like a bigger city. It just has that more metropolitan feel. There are people of all colors, religions, and ethnicities here in Greensboro that makes for a great variety of not only outlook on life, but food, restaurants, and everything else that goes along with that. When you combine that with over 45,000 college students at four different colleges within the city limits, plus Greensboro was named one of the top three places on the East Coast for people to retire on a budget because of the affordable cost of living here, you get a huge variety of people, outlooks, and it just all contributes to a really unique culture in this city, especially again for a city of its size. The next thing people love about living in Greensboro are the neighborhoods. There is a huge variety of neighborhoods in Greensboro. People tend to take a lot of pride in their specific neighborhoods. It's one of the first things they'll tell you when you ask where you're from. They're just as likely to say the neighborhood as the city of Greensboro itself. You have everything from kind of the funky and weird neighborhoods like College Park or Westerwood that's really eclectic, even still with historical homes, great local restaurants art walks and things like that right in the neighborhood to historic and fancy neighborhoods like Olivering Park that's country club living, really big, old, beautiful southern homes and just kind of that luxury lifestyle. Then you have neighborhoods that are newer and closer to shopping like Starmount Forest or Adams Farm is more of a newer neighborhood that's kind of like a master plan community where it's a giant community with other neighborhoods within the neighborhood. All the way out till if you get outside of town a little bit you're going to have more suburban and open feeling neighborhoods so whatever type of neighborhood you like there's something for you in greensboro next thing people love about living in greensboro is the economy the economy here is strong unemployment is lower much lower actually than the national average and companies like boom supersonic are attracting many other companies to come here or stay and expand here making Greensboro really desirable for the aviation and logistics industry as a whole. When you combine that with the Toyota battery plant that's going on down south and all the jobs and businesses and other companies that that's gonna bring, with what is already a strong local economy in Greensboro, it really does make the future look bright. And that's the last subject I wanna cover on here. The other thing that people really are excited about in Greensboro is the future. Local city and business leaders just had a meeting last week where they talked about their vision of Greensboro for 2030 and they have some ambitious plans. Some of the things they really want to do to kind of springboard and capitalize off of this recent growth are to really harness downtown's potential. They've started to do that with a social district, but they really want to 
integrate and harness all of the exciting things that are going on downtown. They've developed an app where you can put in whatever you're interested to, restaurants, drinks, shopping, whatever it is, and it can tell you nearby businesses to check out. There's some really cool stuff going on downtown with a great plan for the future as well. Another thing in their vision for Greensboro's future is to really capitalize more on the artistic and creative community here and come up with programs to highlight local artists and creatives, which I think will be good for the city as a whole. They said publicly that they really want to support and draw more attention to small businesses here in Greensboro as well. That's something I think Winston-Salem has done really well. Well, Greensboro has an eye on that and they're really looking to help promote its small business community in the future. As a matter of fact, Greensboro the last couple of years is one of the top in the nation for new businesses forming. So that's pretty exciting to see what they're gonna to do to help support these small businesses. And the last thing that they wanna do, or it's something I've criticized Greensboro before if you've watched the pros and cons videos, is they really want to help build an identity for downtown. I mean, you have just kind of a little bit of everything and then some of nothing at the same time, it feels weird. You have so much potential with the Tanger Center for the Performing Arts, you have the Civil Rights Museum, beautiful parks, but it's all kind of just fragmented. The city and downtown doesn't have a really distinct identity where like Winston-Salem does, the city of arts and innovation. Leaders in Greensboro recognize this and they really want to make a concerted effort over the next few years, they said, to really start to give downtown and the city itself its own identity. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate in Greensboro, I'd love to be a resource for you. You can reach out to me directly at jeff at govalentino.com. Thanks.